Did Ralphie burn down the stables and kill Pi? Oh my! The Sopranos Season 4, Episode 9 Theory is here to stay. And you know what? It's up for debate. It was never actually closed. It was never a closed case, this one. If the FBI were looking into it, it would still be open, in my personal opinion. But Ralph disappeared. Did he join the Witness Protection Program? Well, according to Tony, he definitely done something other than get battered in his kitchen while he was making scrambled egg. But we've got 109 votes. We've got 94% voting, yes, Tony was right. 6% voting, no, Tony got it all wrong. I mean, I could have put a third option in of, like, literally don't know, the lines were blurred, because you know what, the lines were blurred, and this wasn't a dodgy VAR decision, if you get that reference, but Ralph kind of cops to it, but kind of doesn't. Tony thinks he did it, says, like, Jesus Christ, you fucking did it, that poor beast. You killed my animal. What about the ducks? Ralphie boy. Tony spat the dummy, right? Make no mistake about it, he absolutely did. But... Could you look at it from a point of view of Ralph was kind of bringing up the point of, well, so what, Tony, if I, if I, if I killed a horse, even if I did, what are, you, what are you going to do about it? It's a horse. You know, I haven't killed a fellow made guy, which Ralph made very apparent in the previous season when he killed Tracy. Was it Ralph defending himself? Was it Ralph justifying himself? I think there's different ways you could take this. I think if you want to defend Ralph, right, you will definitely spin the web of, He's saying it's just an animal, it's just a horse. It doesn't really matter if I killed it or not, Tony. You, you, you have no right to be pissed. Well, I mean, he's got a right to be pissed, but you've got no right to, like, kill me. Um, but when Tony starts making suggestions that uh, you need to phone that guy that Silvio phoned a few years ago when he burnt down Archie's old restaurant because he's really good at horsing, and that's what sell Ralph off. He's like, oh, buddy, it doesn't matter if I burn down the horse. We'll never know, because it's not like Ralph would have told anyone. Um, he had a pretty rough episode, his son pretty much turned into a vegetable, uh, and then Ralph turned his horse into a, a cooked horse. Tesco was his name, but I actually, I'm going to go with Ralph did it, right? But if David Chase, obviously the creator of The Sopranos, came out and turned around and said, well, he didn't do it, that was just for the, the fewer to make up their mind. I like, I actually like the fact there's not like a definitive... Um, explanation about what happened because it, it leaves discussion up here if, if it was revealed at the time back in what this episode aired in 2002 would Fog Entertainment be talking about it in 2024? Absolutely not because it would be dead and buried but I think for the most part people can definitely see that he did burn down the stables but I'm, yeah I'm going to agree with the majority and there's one comment for one guy and if there's a guy I would pan pick to have a comment from it would be James Toner and let's dive into it he says Ralph may be a fan favourite but he's a piece of shit and a scumbag Joe Pantolano, great actor, also brought a funny nature to Ralph, but Ralph had it coming. Killing Tracy by beating a pregnant woman to death was fucking unbelievable and fucking disgusting, but this and killing a fucking horse was the final straw. Tony should have shot me a silencer instead of wrestling him to death. In fact, Tony should have killed Ralph outside Bada Bang after the Tracy incident. One bit of trivia, the day after the killing Tracy episode came out, Joe Pantolino was in New York wandering about and he was fearful he was going to get dirty looks at by women, shown by people, spat at by women, expecting abuse in the street. But the opposite happened. Women said, walked up, came up to him and fought it with him. Pantolino thought it was refueling. End of quote. That's an, in that's an interesting bit of trivia. Um, yeah. The problem with that is, right, it's not... <laughs> It's not real. It's not like, you know, professional wrestling. Back in the day where it was supposed to, the like, was alive and, you know, what people were doing in the ring was supposed to be feud upon as it was real. I mean, these are TV shows at the end of the day. But, like, like you look at some of, like, the most evilest bastards like, in, like, movie and TV history, 99% of the time, like, the actual actors are g genuine, like, sweethearts and sometimes it can actually flip and be the other way about. So... This is that's always like an interesting dynamic, but I think if you're a fan, right, of a show, or you watch a show, and there's this like evil prick of a character, and you see the actor in real life, and you actually take it out on him in the street, I think not all your dogs are barking. You you get where I'm coming from because you genuinely cannot believe that that, that that's real. It, it's fake. It's a TV show. It's made for entertainment. You know, it's not reality TV, because of course, that's real. It's in the name, hence reality. But yeah, that's an interesting bit of trivia. Um, I mean, from his point of view, I can absolutely understand what he thought he might have got slack for it, because there is people out there that believe it. But uh, yeah, 
I'm glad that uh, Joe Pantolino could have been in, was in The Sopranos, sorry, delivered. Uh, I know he's only out for two seasons, but I thought he had a pretty impacting role, guys. But anyway, leave your thoughts down below. And I agreed with a 94%.